When we're trying to develop technologies, it's always about how our self can be better, how to make our own body to be able to express data, to be able to change, to be able to alter, depends on what we want. And that's kind of the promise of the technology and the form factor we choose. I think it's interesting to think about how our body is telling us information about ourselves. And skin is like the biggest organ uh, of our body. So we think it's a very, very uh, natural and uh, beautiful platform for us to just get more information about ourselves. Dermal Abyss is like trying to create a direct access between the user and their own body. If you are excited, like, oh, I'm fashion, so that's like your body actually telling you what's going on, right? And we're trying to borrow that language. So Dermal Abyss is around that. Uh, uh, the concept is really about like, okay, so if your skin is changing color while you're feeling differently or while your body uh, biological information is changed, then you probably could get a more intimate uh, relationship about what's going on. If you think about biosensors, we have lots of this kind of development uh, in the chemistry and in biology. So like um, molecules and elements that changes color depends on its surrounding environment. So we're just trying to use those elements and chemicals and molecules uh, and put them into the traditional ink uh, of tattoo. So while you're tattooing those ink, uh, you are also putting those uh, mo uh, molecules inside your body. And those molecules themselves will change color depends on the surrounding environment. Then it just very naturally you have a color changing tattoo. We're looking at uh, pH, uh, sodium, and glucose. So these are the three uh, biological data we are looking at. I won't say uh, we are measuring because uh, when you see the color changes, you if you want to say, okay, if uh, this pink means pH at four, or this blue means pH at seven. We are not doing that measurement because everybody's uh, body condition is very, very different. We are more like reflecting. We are not giving a quantified uh, data on the side to tell you exactly what it's meaning at this point yet. It's more like showing it's changing. I think the application is really uh, wide. So for example, we definitely got a lot of people who have uh, diabetes uh, are interested in this technology because they do need constant monitoring of their sugar level. Uh, and another kind of application could be just a uh, general public because people uh, like want to know, do I uh, drink water enough? Um, did I eat too much salt? Like there's a crazy idea I heard from someone, like maybe you can make it uh, on your eye, eye shadow and like, you can change your eye, uh, eye shadow color by drinking water. I was like, okay, if you want to do that, why not? <laughs> I think it's revolutionary in a way that uh, it challenged the way of how we think technology is affecting us. It's like while you're wearing a glasses, you can see better. Compared to you do a surgery, your eye actually just get better. So I think that's like a, the like functionality wise is very similar, but for a person and the way we understand human body, uh, it definitely is very uh, cutting edge in terms of what does it mean for us to change ourselves.